Thanks for joining us here on 2K Sports for NBA Basketball. Hi, everyone. I'm Brian Anderson, along with Grant Hill and Brent Berry, our distinguished analyst, Allie LaForce on the sidelines. It's the Chicago Bulls and the Los Angeles Clippers. Here we go. So the Clippers win the tip. So let's take a look at the Chicago Bulls starting lineup. To the paint, Griffin. Rodman with a rebound. Jordan with the bucket. Jordan. Setting an aggressive tone early, challenging the heart of that defense. Now here's Paul. Down low. And there's Griffin. That's good. On the assist by Paul. His skill at his size and then converting through contact. Such strength from the big man. Pass to Rodman. Jordan against Reddick. Griffin comes with a double. And wrestling for it there, but no one has possession. We'll have a jump ball. And it's the Bulls with the ball. Jordan with it. Jordan picks him up. First quarter, just over a minute play. Reddick outside. 4-3. Can't get his first shot of the game to fall. Well, even though he misses that one, the defense has got to talk about that. And that's a bad miscue. And you can't give up looks like that all game long. Here's Rodman. Pass to Pippen. Five on the clock. Over Griffin. That went off the back iron and out. His touch from mid-range, that's almost always good. That won't shake his confidence. Now here's Reddick. He's guarded closely. From eight feet, he's looking good. Two buckets and three attempts. Yeah, Reddick more than happy to get off the ball that time and spot the open man. Now Jordan. And he gets it to go. Starting to find his rhythm. He's cooking, and he knows it. Yeah, right now, I don't see any let-up. I think he's going to just keep putting his foot on that gas pedal today. Now here's Paul. Here's Redick. It's good. The assist that time from Paul. Redick reading the defense well, and that time goes with the floater. And a little over two and a half minutes gone here in the first. Here's Jordan. That one drops for him. Michael Jordan. Jordan's got six. The defensive effort was lacking a bit, but hey, give him credit for finding a weakness there. Just really smart basketball and exploiting whatever holes that he's seeing right now in the defensive squad. Now here's Jordan. Outside Paul. Pass to Reddick. And here's Jordan. Here's Barnes, and the shot falls short that time. Here's Harper. Now here's Jordan, marked by Reddick. Reddick brings the double from the arc. And the basket by Pippen. Shooting four or five to start the game. That's got to be a feel good. The Clippers trail. Just over three and a half minutes gone here in the first. Back to Paul. Pass to Reddick. Griffin in the post. And he drops in the layup off the glass. He has six. Not just the accuracy in the quarter, it's his movement and the energy that's getting him on this nice roll. Here's Rodman, defended by Griffin. Pass to Pippen. Here's the three. That shot off. And the Clippers will come the other way. Griffin in the post. 
He shoots again. And it's good yeah. on the lay-in. Well, Griffin is going to come to the game with a certain attitude. And nights like this where he's going after domination, he can be dangerous. Here's Harper. Boy, he's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. Pass to Jordan. Fires the three. He drops it from range. <laughs> he still has it missed. Four for four to start the game. Now here's Paul. Not a lot of room. Reddick with it. Let's go with a three. Connects from downtown. Reddick's got five now. But you drop one on J.J. Reddick, he's going to find a way to stand outside the arc. Pay you back. Pass to Pippen. Here's Longley, covered by Jordan. To the middle. Oh, a big Long finish with a one-handed jam. They keep capturing the lead, then giving it back. We'll see if they can hold on to it this time. Well, you can tell they really want to increase this lead. They can't keep letting them take it from them. Now here's Reddick. Five points in the game. And there's Griffin. That's good. On the assist by Barnes. They just look so overwhelmed inside. You know, that's why they continue to get attacked. Pass to Pippen. Here's Rodman. Jordan with it. Marked by Reddick. To the inside. Rodman. And he buries his first look. Wow, eight lead changes in the first half. Unbelievable. Yeah, both sides digging in for what looks like a war. And here's Barnes. Jordan, the pass to Paul. Here's Griffin. Chicago grabs the miss. Can't blame him. Just trying to take what the defense allows. Paul with a steal. Oh, and the fast break for the Clippers. This is why you love Chris Paul running your offense. Just move without the ball, find some space, and the ball will find you. Pass to Rodman. To the left side wing. Jordan against Reddick. Here's Longley. Shot clock at five. Here's Pippen. That one no good. And Los Angeles the other way now. Griffin left side. Pass to Reddick. It's stolen away. Here's Pippen. Marked by Reddick. Here's Harper. Soft touch off the glass. And the Bulls lead by one. Well, it's certainly been a roller coaster ride. If you do me one, I'll do you one better. It feels like we have a lead change every few Boy. possessions. It's good on the putback. Well, he doesn't look satisfied with the lead right now. He wants more, and he looks like he's going to get it. Pass to Jordan. Stolen by Reddick. Griffin right side. Now here's Reddick. Rebounded by Pippen. That's not going to make you a favorite target of your teammates. They'll think twice about feeding you if you're going to keep missing layups. That's got to frustrate him. He knows he should have made that one. Yeah, you can't make them all, and you for sure you'll want him taking that kind of shot. Out of bounds as Los Angeles keeps possession. Bold substitution. He hasn't put up any points yet in this one. That one goes. Count it. He's such a good scorer when he gets inside that painted area. One of the game's best mid-range players that we've ever seen. Chris Paul. Oh, oh man. Just get this down. Down. Nice. That's spectacular. Just rising up to the rim. Man, when he gets up there, he gets up there. You know what I'm saying? Once again, an explosive highlight on the AT&T 5G slam cam. Paul passes to Griffin. Pass to Barn. A rebound by Kukoc. I don't know what happened there. That was an easy two points that he just threw away. Here's Pippen. 
Here's Kukoc, defended by Griffin. Oh, great D that time from Griffin. The Clippers in the lead. Barnes passes to Paul. Redick outside. Oh, and another three for the Clippers. Uh, easy to see why J.J. Redick is a guy that everybody talks about as being one of the premier shooters in the NBA. Here's Pippen, defended by Griffin. Pippen, no good. Is it getting cold in here? This is, this is a tough one. Crucial that he starts to work a little harder for a higher percentage shot. Ball passes to Redick. The three from Barnes. Oh, and another three for the Clippers. Yeah, they've done quality work on the offensive glass. Trying to find a spark here. Yes, indeed. A rough stretch offensively. They could really use a basket. Here's Kukoc. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game from him. Now here's Redick. He's covered closely. Jordan against Paul. Just five on the clock. The Clippers got a hurry. Late clock here. The three from Barnes. And it's Jordan with the rebound. Chicago trailing here. Pass to Kerr. Inside. Shots good by Kukoc. And once more this half, they find a way to get great position inside. Outside Paul. He's in his comfort zone. Two for two to start this one. Already six of their points coming off second chances. Pretty impressive. Pass to Kukoc. Here's Wennington. 44 seconds left to play in the first quarter. Here's Kukoc. That one's wide left. I love how they've attacked the boards here in the first quarter. Redick outside. Puts it up from 12. Can't get it to go. He's made three. He's missed three so far. Here's Jordan. Parries it down low. Michael Jordan. Jordan's got 13 points. This is a one-man show right now. He's on a mission to get him out of this hole. Here's Paul. Oh, it's blocked. It deflects off the backboard. Pass to Jordan. Off target at the rim. He's so good at getting to the rim. Maybe tries to get a little bit too cute with that one. I thought he'd lay it straight up and in. And it looks like they are going to review the play. The question, did he get the basket off in time or not? Yeah, they're going to review that shot to make sure he got it off in time. But I think it's going to count. So the replay was conclusive. Call overturn. Grant, that one's going to count. And B.A., you can argue against replay all year. And getting it going again here in the second quarter. Fairly close game so far. All right, guys, what do you think about the offensive approach we've seen so far for the Clippers? They've definitely had a hot hand from three-point range to this point. Always nice to start out like that. I also like on the offensive end how they're working to get the ball into the paint, into the teeth of the defense. They've created a lot of high percentage shots so far. Pass to Kukoc. Here's Kerr. He's guarded by Paul. Here's Kukoc. Puts up a three. Cleared away by Hollins. Chicago to the paint. Here's Redick. And it's Chicago with a board. And for the Clippers. Here's Kerr. He's guarded by Paul. Pass to Simpkins. Here's Wennington. Shoots from 14. And misses it off the right side of the rim. 
really lax defense there. He's going to see fewer and fewer chances if he can't bury those kind of jumpers. To the inside. Here's Hollins. Deflected. Jordan against Reddick. 19 footer. And again, Chicago, no good. Pass to Turkaloo. Back to Reddick. Down low. Now shooting 50% for the game. He's four for eight. In the NBA, you let anyone shoot inside five feet, you're putting yourself at a disadvantage. Here's Simpkins. Marked by Reddick. Pass to Jordan. Here's Kukoc. The fadeaway. Tries again. Jordan misses. The defense is tough as it comes right there. He's a hard man to deny when he gets the ball to the rim. Two open that time. They didn't look easy. And it's a seven-point Los Angeles lead. He's got a lot to do with the position that they're in. A very smart offensive performance tonight for him. Here's Jordan. Good. Eight Michael buckets in 12 attempts. One of the more skilled offensive players that is on the floor here tonight. Not an easy fella to hold in check. Pass to Turkaloo. Here's Hollins. Let's a floater go. Simpkins grabs the miss. Second quarter play, almost three minutes gone here. Here's Kukoc. He's guarded by Paul. And here's Jordan. Floats one up. Wennington. He's now one for two with that bucket. Showing great poise. Passes up his own shot for something better. Outside Paul. Jacks up a three. The offensive rebound. And this kind of six slam is just one of the reasons this team is in charge of this game right now, B.A. You know, there's an edge the way they play and a confidence they're not afraid to show. The basket counts and one. He'll go to the line, a chance at a three-point play. When the player gets a feel for that floater, it can really make things tough on defenders. You're just not sure how to guard them and where your point of commitment is. The Clippers making a switch here. Dudley's checked in. The Clippers in the lead. And in the second quarter, a little under three and a half minutes played already. And he lobs it up to the rim. Now you leave it to CP3, statistically one of the top ten assist men, not just in the league now, in the history of the game. Pass to Rodman. Here's Bushler. Here's Kerr. Looking for his first basket still in this one. The Bulls need to get off a shot. The Bulls with another miss. And his poor shooting is a big reason that they're staring at this deficit right now. He needs to get on track if they're going to find a way to win. Here's Turkaloo. And down it goes. Two points. Now it's a six-point Clipper lead. Now he's too good a finisher to blow that kind of chance, but that's going to be a wake-up call to the defense. Pass to Kukoc. Here's Rodman. Out to the right wing. Here's Kukoc. Five points in the game. No good on the shot. And they're dialed in offensively. Sure are. Staying in attack mode and at the same time playing under control. So it's Chicago now. Six-point game. Out to the right wing. Here's Simpkins. Pass to Kukoc. It's rebounded by Dudley. 
Would you say testing the limits of his range there? Well, I thought they played smart, and then all of a sudden it was maybe a little too flashy there, and that, uh, that's unfortunate. Got it. Six points for him. This story in the second quarter, much different than the one in the first. We're finally seeing some aggression. Here's Rodman. Here's Simpkins. Looking to end the drought. It's tipped. And it's out of bounds. Still Chicago's ball. His shot was hindered by that momentous mobile one block. <laughs> Showing no signs of giving up this lead. That block sent shockwaves into the opposition sails. The Clippers making a switch here. Jordan's checked in. And a change for the Bulls. Harper's checked in. Here's Harper. Shot from the inbound. And Chris Paul clears it away. Paul's got four rebounds in the game. Their strong work ethic has been evident on the glass. Really getting after it and being physical. Yeah, how about the power from DJ there slamming it down? Pass to Rodman. Here's Harper. And again, Chicago no good. He may not be the strongest inside presence in the league, but still, he's got to convert from there. To the middle. Here's Redick. Yes! And it's Paul with the assist that time. And it's a 12-point Clipper lead. Now that play never gets old. The pick and roll will still be an offensive staple 100 years from now. Trust me. Timeout called here. Chicago decides to talk it over. Boy, you got to like what you're seeing from J.J. Redick. Yeah, smart move here. Talk things over. He's really eating them up. And they've tried a few different looks defensively. Nothing quite getting it done. Barnes, he's checked in for the Clippers. Here's Harper. He's guarded by Paul. Pass to Harper. Six to shoot. Looking to end the run. He can't get that one to fall. And Los Angeles the other way now. Here's Barnes. Oh, the teardrop falls in. Barnes has got five points. They've been the more poised team tonight, and the score reflects that. Yeah, just really pouring it on right now, trying to take away the opposition's motivation to keep competing in this one. Here's Bushler. What? Well, no scoring yet from him, but that's likely to change. To the left wing. 13 feet out. It's hauled in by the Clippers. They really have a commanding lead, not just in points, but in rebounds as well. Yes, it's good. Reddick's got eight points here in the quarter. They have no answer defensively inside. Inside, here's Longley. And they get it back. Pass to Bushler. Here's Harper. It's rebounded by Dudley. <laughs> they are really struggling to stop this run. Frustration seems to be mounting here, and you can see not just in their faces, but right now in their quick and hurry shot selection. Thank you. They're really dictating the tempo on both ends of the court. You love it. Yeah, the other team a bit concerned here. They're trailing, and the lead seems to be growing. Timeout called here. Chicago decides to talk it over. Oh, my. Their coach does not look happy. And I can guess why. Their interior defense has been struggling. No, they're not preventing them from scoring. And if you can get to a high efficiency shot on the floor, and that's the paint, you just keep going. Griffin, he's checked in for Dudley. Here's Harper. He's guarded by Paul. Oh, they need this! And Harper gets it to go. Six points for him. Now Los Angeles with it. Outside Paul. And yes, it goes. Got a little English on that one. Thank you. And the Clippers lead by 18. 
Pass to Pippen. Oh, oh man! Oh. Oh. And there's the slam dunk to finish it off. Come on now, guys. That's flat out insane. Hey, when's the last time you saw a jam like that? And that one good. Paul's got four points in the quarter. These defenders really need to man up, particularly in the lane. Pass to Bushler. Here's Pippen, marked by Redick. Here's Longley to the middle. Here's Rodman. The rebound by Redick. They've shown the power inside. Their rebounding effort has been sensational. Oh, there's the alley! And slam dunk by Jordan. Well, that's where he's a huge threat to complete any sort of alley-oop. You could throw that at the top of the square, and DJ's going to throw it in. Here's Harper. He's guarded by Paul. Here's Rodman. Rebound by the Clippers. Griffin's got six rebounds here tonight to the paint. And there's Jordan on the assist by Barnes. Jordan's got 10 points. Setting each other up beautifully. I love it. Eight of their last 10 points coming off assist. Here's Harper. He's guarded by Paul. Two minutes Down low. Here's Longley. Ooh, good finish at the rack off the slick feed. Well, any possession that ends in a shot from that range after a good player and ball movement, that's a good one. Ball passes to Redick. And the Clippers again with a bucket. Strong pass there to set up the basket. Pass to Pippen. Here's Harper. He's guarded by Paul. Here's Pippen. The rebound by Redick. Outside Barnes. Here's Griffin. Another shot. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. And Griffin not backing down on the inside. He's welcoming that physical play, especially when he's shooting. Boy, Griffin at the line. At the line for two. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First one falls for him. There are some unique qualities to the play of Blake Griffin. A big with incredible handles and passing skills who can still throw it down. So hits one and misses one at the line. Played it in with a nice touch off the window. Griffin's got 15. He drops yet another dive. Just facilitating this offense like a maestro. Here's Wellington, covered by Jordan. Jordan up top. To the inside, Pippen. And it's flushed down, a nice jam. Now that's how you capitalize on a screen. Yeah, good positioning, too. Gave him a clear path to the hoop. Really not enough help there. Lack of communication on the backside. Down low. Here's... Oh, yes, sir! Oh, wow! wow. We have a lot of great jumpers in the league, but DJ makes a statement every time. Elbows above the rim that time. Pass to Pippen. The ball's knocked loose, and it goes out of bounds. Last touch by Barnes. Basketball. Coming onto the floor for your Clippers, Danny Granger. Now here's Jordan. He's got 17. Four on the clock. No good with the triple. Pass to Redick. From 18 feet away. And so it's the Los Angeles Clippers. 
of 25 big ones as we head into the next period. Defense is setting the tone. We'll be right back. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Greetings to each and every one of you watching at this very moment. Uh, I'm Ernie Johnson. Kenny the Jet Smith is here. Shaq is here. One half is behind us. Welcome to the 2K Sports Halftime Show. J.J. Redick had no problems getting going. He had 18 points, four assists, and three rebounds. Kenny, what do you think about the Clippers? Watching that half, they did a great job in transition. It's so hard to score in the half court when you let the defense set up. So anytime you get a chance, go. You go. It kind of reminds me of being That's why they the check. Check. Get down to one basket tent. Come on. Looking at Chicago, Shaq, your thoughts? Just bad interior defense from them throughout the half. They're getting pushed around, not to touch the Allowing easy looks. That's the kind of D I love to face. I've had at least 30 by now, guys. And that's a wrap. With the third quarter approaching, we now send you back to Kevin and the crew. And as we dive into the second half, we'll find out if the next two quarters are any different from the first two. So far, it's been a runaway. Boy, you got to like what you're seeing from J.J. Redick. He's been on the attack, playing hard and going right to the rim. Yeah, nice job of carving his way to the inside with some ease. Not much resistance out there. And with a big gap on the scoreboard, the second half begins with very different goals for these teams. One side trying to mount a comeback, one side trying to protect their lead. On the court for Chicago. Here's Pippen. He's guarded by Barnes. To the paint. Here's Harper. That three off target. Had some space there after the pump fake. Jordan against Reddick. Pass to Barnes. Now Griffin. Puts it up from 17. And it's Chicago with a board. Jordan's got his fifth rebound in this one. Here's Harper. Now Jordan. Marked by Redick. Now Jordan. Here's Harper. Stolen by Redick. And here in the second half of play, we're just over a minute in. Yes! And it's Paul with the assist that time. Reddick's got 21. Defense has better put J.J. Reddick on a leash and trail him around. He's ready to fire as soon as he gets that ball. To the middle. Takes one from 10 feet. Jordan misses. Just over one and a half minutes have passed in the third quarter. He just rises up and throws it down hard. That is such a go-to move for him. He holds nothing back on those. Pass to Pippen. Oh, and they immediately answer back with a dunk on the other end. Now he's not the reason that they're trailing in this one. He's been on his game. It's a few of the other guys that need to pick it up. Outside Paul. Redick with it. Now here's Jordan, covered by Jordan. Some solid defense from Jordan. They've been having major problems offensively. Definitely in a bit of a dry spell. Scotty, Just knifing his way to the rim. He looked practically unstoppable on that play. Paul passes to Griffin. Getting it to fall there. He's 8 of 15 in the game. And just staying in control. This is Griffin's mindset. Keeping his balance even when the D is present. Pass to Rodman. Here's Jordan. Ooh, rejected by Jordan. Inside. And slam 
help by Jordan. Well, here's a bit of an anomaly on the offensive end here tonight. DeAndre Jordan taking control and imposing his offensive will. Here's Pippen. Barnes with the rebound. Barnes has got five rebounds tonight. To the middle. Here's Jordan. And slam dunk by Jordan. Since halftime, they have been efficient and effective, making Coach very happy. Well, the thing is, they're controlling the pace right now, and if that was the mantra for them at halftime, they've carried it out. And they've won the battle on the board so far, and the scoreboard reflects that. Yeah, it's not just about stopping the offense in the scouting report. It's about knowing where to be when those shots are going to be missed. And they're doing a nice job on the rebound. Oh, it's stolen by Jordan. Down low. And he takes the fantastic lead pass up strong for the slam. What a two-way play. Just tremendous. Yeah, the steal was slick. The slam topped it off. And we say it time and time again, so I'll repeat it. Have to be careful with the ball, or this is what happens. And here's Reddick. He's got 21. And it's Jordan with the rebound. Jordan's got six rebounds now in the game. And it's all from three-point range. He made a three back in the first half, but that's it. We'll see if he can find his stroke. Paul passes to Griffin. Back to Paul. Outside for Reddick. Fires for three. And they recover it. Griffin. And he was oh, fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. That's his first personal foul. Well, Griffin staying first strong down low, even when he knows the hit is coming. Great concentration and toughness shown there. And, and let's take a moment here to get your take, guys, on Mike the scoring Griffin so far for the Clippers. The fantastic <laughs> passing we saw from them in the first half carried right over into the second half, too. Also, they've generated a ton of offense in the paint, and that's always a recipe for success, getting those high percentage shots down low. And the first one at the line is good. So both teams changing it up here. And good on the second, so he makes them both. Jordan with it. 17 points in the game. Pass to Kukoc. And there it is for him. He's got seven. Now there's some easy offense there. Keep finding looks in that area, and their shooting percentages tonight are going to be off the charts. Now here's Reddick. Launches a three. That shot missing. Here's Pippen, defended by Griffin. And it's thrown down hard with both hands. Oh, oh, oh my, what a display of effort. That's his bread and butter, right? Chasing down the boards. Stick with fundamentals there. Shot goes up, box out, or he'll destroy you. The floater. Nice bucket inside from Reddick. Reddick's got five points in the quarter. Now J.J. doing it from all over, shooting left side, right side. He's scoring from everywhere. Pass to Kukoc. Oh, great D that time from Griffin. And so here are the Clippers. The three from Reddick. It's good. The assist that time from Paul. Reddick's got 26. Many times you don't like that shot selection, but sometimes when you're just feeling it in transition when no one's on you, great shot there. With the teardrop. And the layup is good. He's got 19. Always fun to look at. Not tremendously efficient, but the floater. Boy, those sure are pretty. Pass to Reddick. 
Here's Turkaloo. Here's Griffin. Man, terrific work on the offensive glass as he picks up the deuce. Yeah, and the 2009 draft number one pick, Blake Griffin out of Oklahoma, right now doing everything on offense. Oh, got that bucket in no time at all. He's been terrific tonight, and with a little help from the other guys on the floor, they might be able to turn this game around. Pass to Dudley. The three from Reddick. The shot no good. Now Chicago takes it the other way. Here's Pippen. He's got 13. The putback. Great positioning on the putback. They're finding ways to get the ball into the paint. Five consecutive buckets. Here's Turkaloo. Back to Paul. Pass to Reddick. Over to the left wing. Here's Paul. It's hauled in by the Bulls. Here's Pippen. Here's Kukoc. Defended by Griffin. Here's Kukoc. Pass to Pippen. From deep. And it's out of bounds. Out of bounds. Still out of bounds. Chicago's ball. Bulls ball. And we've got to see that sensational mobile one block again. <laughs> what a play. I mean, that'll have the offense thinking twice about taking shots in his presence. Bulls substitution. Now here's Jordan. He's got 21. Shot clock at six. From deep. Bulls foul. Tony Kuko. That's his first personal foul. First team foul. Coming onto the floor for your Clippers, Ryan Holland. How about the unselfishness of this team? <laughs> yeah, the willingness to make the next pass has this defense scrambled. Back to Paul. To the paint. Here's Granger. Boom! He jams it straight down. Just great offense. The screen freeing him up for the slam. Hey, without that screen, he doesn't get a clean look at the rim. Yeah, why well, settle for the layup when you can attack the rim and rise up like that? Pass to Bushler. The teardrop, and he takes it up and lays it in. They've got a commanding lead. It just seems like everything is going their way. Here's Granger. And here's Paul. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. That's his first personal foul. I mean, it's impossible right now to, to think about a defender not going for that kind of fake from Chris Paul. Chris Paul at the line. At the line for two. Two shots. Relax on the first. He's off on the first. Now, there's been a lot of stops in CP3's career, but there's been no doubt that when he's on the team, he is the vocal and emotional leader of their production. He hits the second from the line. Now Jordan. Things just don't seem to be clicking for them offensively. Yeah, they really need to find a way to get back on track. Here's Wennington. Remaining in the third quarter. Cleared away by Hollins. They have really been in control of this one. You don't want to get complacent here. Pass to Granger. To the inside. Here's Paul. Misses off the left iron. Here's Bushler. And he banks in the layup. Bushler. 
136 left in the third quarter. Outside Paul. Driving in. Here's Hollins. Goes back up. They get it again. Well, it was only a matter of time before they finally get the bucket. And trust me, when the D's slow to react, he'll be the first guy to make them pay. Well, I know they don't have mobile devices out there for texting, so they might as well talk to one another. 54 seconds left in the third quarter. Kukoc, no good. Right side, Paul. Oh, a nice one-handed slam right there. There are only a few players in the league who can hit a teammate like that in stride. Beautiful assist. To the paint. Here's Jordan. And he was camped in the lane there. He gets a three-second call. You have to limit mistakes. They're so tough to overcome. Well, not making things easier on themselves right now, that's for sure. And the Clippers making a change here. Barnes is checked in. Harper, he's checked in for Chicago. Now eight seconds separating the two clocks. Paul finds Barnes. It's Bullock on the wing. Can't cash it in from close range. Here's Harper. Give him eight. Over to the wing. Here's Kukoc, and it comes off the front of the rim. And so it's Los Angeles with an almost surefire victory here, up 32 at the end of the quarter and dominating. Their efficiency has been off the charts. They're running their sets well with patience and purpose. We're coming right back. Don't go anywhere. And it's time now to bring you our State Farm assist to the game. You talk about painting a magnificent picture with that dime. Just a great decision and a perfect delivery. Yeah, those are the kind of plays that you want to put on a canvas. Just beautiful basketball. And we reach the fourth quarter in a game that may already be out of hand. Pass to Granger. Here's Hollins. Now Barnes. Clock at six. Pulls up. Bullock's shot is off. And so in the game for the Bulls. To the middle. Here's Harper. Pass to Kerr. Three-pointer. Good decision-making. Scopes the situation. Puts the pass right on the mark. Inside. Here's Barnes. And he lays it up and in. That's nice vision there. You see that pass. You make the feed before the defense has a chance to react. And that opens up a, a much better opportunity to score. Here's Kerr. Pass to Bushler. The three, and again, Wrong. it's the Bulls from deep. Three point. Their defense has to do a better job of smothering those shooters. Here's Collison, and the three-pointer goes. Three oh, you got to love the back and forth, showing real confidence at the arc. Yeah, both teams finding ways to the three-point line and trying to take advantage from distance. Here's Wennington. Ranger grabs the miss. Collison with the bucket. Changing ends quickly. Scoring before the defense can set up. They've been doing it all game. Yeah, their energy level's been amazing. Battery bar still full. Hustling and still working hard out there. Down low. Now here's Barnes. 
Guard it closely. Yep, that one goes. Really heads up there. A play where you locate the best open pass, and then you get it there for an easy bucket. Pass to Sally. We're in the fourth quarter here. Just under two and a half minutes gone by. Here's Harper. To end the run. Releases. And he can't bank that one in. Now the Clippers with it. And he's going for the lob! Boy, left it right in the sweet spot with the lob. Nicely done. And that's a double-double for him now. Their offense has been unstoppable, just firing on all cylinders. I mean, this team is just dangerous. Right now, every shot that they're putting up feels like it's going in. Pass to Winnington. Here's Harper. The Bulls with another miss. Yeah, I have no idea why he went with the fadeaway there. The defense was nowhere near him, and he should have just kept it simple. Here's Barnes. No good there. So the Bulls will take it the other way. Here's Kerr. That shot off the mark. And the Clippers have possession. So far in the fourth, they've allowed just six points to the paint. Here's Hollins. Pass to Granger. And that one's good. <laughs> this run has been fueled by their Matador defense. They're searching for a way to score. Yeah, buckets have been very tough to come by. Here's Wennington. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Bulls will retain possession. Bulls basketball. Davis, he's checked in for the Clippers. Brown, he's checked in for Chicago. Here's Harper trying to get back on track. No good on the layup. Here's Davis. The basket drops, and he gets fouled on the shot. One free throw coming his way. Oh, he really fought for that one. Battling through contact to complete the play. Dudley, he's checked in for Bullock. The Bulls making a switch here. Michael Davis at the line for one. That free throw, good from Davis. Here's Harper. Pass to Sally. Here's Simpkins. Up top, Brown. Five to shoot. Here's Harper. Goes up and lays it in nice and easy. Such a big part of what he does for this team. Just work and work on the boards, generate second chance opportunities, and hopefully convert. Throws it up high. Nice catch and finish on the lob. Just a perfect pass and some pretty slick body control on the finish, too. Man, that's butter. Here's Harper. Checked by Davis. Harper gets it to go. Hey, if you give him room, he's going to score the ball. Here's Collison, defended by Brown. Pass to Granger. There's the three. They get it back. Here's Collison. Fires the three. He's off on that one. Here's Harper, checked by Davis. From 13, Harper misses. Here are the Clippers. They're on an 18 to seven run. Here's Hollins. Nice assist and nice finish. Solid play all the way around. I like that. Punch it inside. You usually end up with a good shot and or get fouled. Here's Harper, checked by Davis. 
Harper misses. Here's Collison. Called in by Brown. Lays it up and banks it in. And he gives up some size inside, but makes a great adjustment on the finish. Yeah, the big man not going to slow him down from getting that deuce. Pass to Davis. Here's Collison. From outside the arc, counted from distance. And they keep attacking from the three-point range here in the second half. Here's Simpkins. Up top, Brown. Here's Harper. From deep three-point range, cleared away by Hollins. And it's another just bad decision on a night full of those. His shot selection tonight has been questionable at best. Here's Davis. Boy, they had their chances. Two offensive rebounds, but still coming up empty. Outside, Brown. Pass to Harper. The shot, no good. And it's the Clippers taking it the other way. Time for some consideration in the passing category, maybe, Kevin. The shot is just not on. Get somebody else going. Their strategy has been pretty simple here in the second half. Attack from three-point range. Maybe trying to find a little bit more space and ball movement to get guys open at the three-point line. Here's Bushler. And here's Brown for three. And out of bounds. Los Angeles will have it. Clippers ball. Bold substitution. This could snowball if they continue to put up points. I can't say enough about their performance. Lots of room. And the shot goes down. Just how awesome is it to watch the best of the best start to dominate in a game? Boy, they need something to go to regain some confidence. No question. Way too many empty possessions for them. When the player gets a feel for that floater, it can really make things tough on defenders. You're just not sure how to guard them and where your point of commitment is. Davis finds Davis. Here's Collison. Shot clock at five. Outside Davis. Pass to Bullock. Here's Collison. Got a piece of it. Out of and it goes out of bounds. Bulls that one ball. off Davis. Edwards, Bulls he's checked in for Chicago. James Edwards. Here's Kerr. Pass to Brown. He shoots a three. It's rebounded by Dudley. And the Clippers with the ball. Outside Davis. Here's Collison, defended by Brown. The 11 footer. Collison can't hit. Chicago with the ball. Inside. It's intercepted. Two minutes. We've got 155 left in the fourth. Ooh, poked away. And here's Brown. And it's the Clippers with the rebound. Here's Collison. On the wing, Davis. Pass to Davis. Just five to shoot. Back to Davis. Oh, they need this. 
Doesn't go that time. Now Chicago takes it the other way. 56 seconds left in the final quarter. Left side, Edwards. Pass to Kerr. Here's Bushler. Here's Sally. And out of bounds. Los Angeles will have it. The Bulls making a switch here. Harper's checked in. Ron Harper. Thirty-five seconds left in the game. Outside Davis. Pass to Bullock. Here's Collison, defended by Brown. Here's Bullock. Down to five on the shot clock. Second shot opportunity. No good at the rim. Outside, Brown. The Clippers winning this one easily. They didn't have too many problems tonight. They didn't. Just a tremendous team effort. Once they had that big lead, they were not going to let the visitors back into the game. For Brent Berry, Allie LaForce, and Grant Hill, this is Brian Anderson thanking you for tuning in. We'll see you next time.